Welcome back to another video style crew. If you're new here, I am Rio. And today I have my winter haul from Czar. So recently Czar had a sale, a massive blowout sale, which probably at this point was about a few weeks ago. Of course, I had to partake in it. So I um, did some shopping, did some more shopping, and did some more shopping, and did some more shopping. I bought a lot. I kind of overdid it. But what that allowed for me to do was, you know, try some different things, try out some trendy pieces, see what I was liking. Some things I didn't like, some things I needed different sizes in, so some things I returned, some things I got different sizes. So you know how it goes. I'm sure you guys have been there. To the right of me, I have a selection of things that I've kept. There's a few things. Of course, it's a winter haul, so there's an abundance of things which are winter essentials, winter needs, things that are necessary for winter, however you want to put it. So this is a jam-packed haul, so make sure you watch the entire video. Now, because some of this stuff was on sale, it may not be readily available. However, I'll do the best I can to link whatever I can down below in the description section. A few pieces was not on sale, which is part of their new collection. So hopefully you'll be able to grab some of those pieces if you are interested. And again, I'm gonna link those down below in the description section. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and hop into the pieces. So as you guys may know, cargo pants, and not just cargo pants in particular, but the workwear and the workwear aesthetic, it's really big right now. That's like one of the biggest trends. And of course, belonging to that trend is the cargo pants. So there are tons of brands doing cargo pants in different styles and different designs. And of course, if you've been watching me for a while, you would know I'm not the biggest fan of trends, but they exist for a reason. And I believe if you're gonna take part in a trend, don't spend a whole bunch of money doing it because in a couple of years, those items won't even be cool anymore. And that's where fast fashion brands come in really clutch at. So of course, Zara has tons of cargo pants. A lot of their styles now is catered to the current trend silhouette, which is more of the wider leg. It's more of the flowier fit. As popular as that stuff is, and as popular as I know it is, it's really hard for me to fully partake in that because that's just not my style. However, I picked up a few cargo pants. One of them in particular, I just could not do at all. I had to return it now as the black pair. So those aren't a part of this haul at all. But I have this olive pair, which is a part of this haul because I decided to keep these. Now, I got these in a size medium. However, I got them in a large at first and had to send those back because they were a little bit too big. And this medium fits pretty, pretty good. I did have to make an alteration to them because when I got them, the leg opening was a little bit too wide. They were sitting at an eight inch leg opening. And if you guys kind of know with the width of that, it was just a little bit too wide. And they ended up coming with a darted cuff, which I did not want because they made it a little bit too short. So I removed the darts from both legs and then I also decided to taper them in about an inch, just to give it more of that tapered, kind of more seamless look. And then once I did that, they just flowed much better on my body. They sit better. I didn't really adjust much of the leg, just the leg opening, just to give it a better looking finish. But you should be able to see the difference from the before and the after. And in my opinion, the after just looks much cleaner. Next up, I have another pair of cargo pants and these are gonna be in this light brown, almost kind of like a, I wanna say rust, but it's really not that dark. So I would say lighter brown. Now I've seen these pants on a couple guys before and I just thought they were really, really cool. I like the tapered leg on them and they have these ankle adjusters that allows for you to really cinch them in and get more of a tapered fit. Now they are somewhat cropped, similar to how the first ones I showed you were, but with these, I find that because they are cuffed, they can't be paired with like too many things, which is okay because it makes a really good bottom to rock with boots. So I tried these on with my Nike boots at first and I felt like I was having a little bit too much space between the bottom of the leg on the pants and then the top of the shoe. And then I put them on with a pair of Doc Martens and it fit a little bit better. So it kind of closed that gap in because of course the Doc Martens sit much higher than the Nike boots did. But aside from that, the quality itself really isn't bad. Now, unfortunately, these probably are not available because they were on sale. However, Zara does have tons and tons of different cargo pant options. So feel free to check those out on their website. Next up, we have a pair of white jeans. These are what is called their 90s fit. And I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about them, um, especially how they look online. The guy online, they were like really baggy, more baggy. I mean, it's trendy right now, but that's not how I wanted them to look. So I went ahead and sized down to a size 31. And usually, of course, I'm a 32. They fit really good in the leg and in the waist. 
However, there's not much stretch in these and the waist is pretty much like my perfect waist. They're not as comfortable as I would have liked them to be, but they still do look really great. A higher waist, a wider kind of a thigh, and then it tapers down on legs. So it's a really nice clean look. These I think still are available. So I'm gonna link these down below in the description section. And I think they also released some new colors with their new collection. There is a, a more of a light wash color I'm thinking about grabbing because I do like the fit of these, they're pretty dope. So I may grab those at some point. Next up, I found this really nice sweater in their sales section. It was like 15 bucks on sale. And I was like, uh, it looks cool. So I grabbed it. And one thing I love most about it is the neck. You guys have been watching me for a while. You know I love a nice fitted neck on t-shirts, on sweaters, turtlenecks, whatever the case may be. I just love a nice fitting neck. It does have some wool in there, so it's a little bit itchy which is fine by me because I could just throw a base layer on underneath it and rock it just like that. The next item I found just randomly, I bought it just on a whim, just saying like, hey, I like that. I'm gonna just grab that and see if I like it in person. The quality is nice. It's super, super soft. It does feel a little bit itchy on the skin. But again, like I mentioned with the other sweater, just throw something on underneath it and then, you know, you're, you're good. Beautiful color, more of a statement piece, but it's one that I, I really, I, I couldn't pass up. The next item is gonna be this green corduroy puffer vest, which is a part of their new collection. So this should still be available, at least last time I checked it was. So hopefully by the time I get this video out, this is available for you guys that are interested in it. It has some nice padding to it. It is nice and warm. The sizing is a little bit weird. They do it like a dual sizing. They have a small, medium, and then I think a large XL. I think that's how they did it. I opted to go with the small, medium which worked best for me, it fits perfect. It is a little bit oversized, which I think is okay. It allows for you to put, of course, layers underneath it. So if you wear a size medium, of course, go with the small medium. If you wear a size small, of course, you have to go with small medium, and it may be a little bit bigger than you want it to be. So just keep that in mind. Then we have another piece from their new collection. Again, this should be available. Link should be down below in the description section. And this is an overshirt. When I saw this on the new collection, I just had to grab it immediately. Like usually I'll try to wait for stuff to go on sale. It has some cream hits, it has some navy, it has green, it has yellow, it has red. It's just a perfect flannel. It was a really nice addition to my wardrobe and I think it's a really great piece for Zar and their new collection as well. The next one is also part of their new collection. Similar with the other one, when I saw this one, I was like, damn, I gotta get that too. Both of these are a size medium, by the way, I forgot to say that. This one is more of like a, almost like a Sherpa, but it's just a beautiful piece, beautiful colors. As you can see, it has that ivory base with the weedish tan with the light blue going through it. It just, it, it just works, man. It, it works, it really, it's really nice. The one thing I don't like about it is that the sleeves are a little bit short, just a touch. I would like from the bend just a little bit longer. Aside from that, the piece is well done. It is a beautiful overshirt. They have been killing it with the overshirts. Hopefully this one is also available. So on to the next. Next up, we have this light brown double-breasted overcoat. And this was one of those ones that I actually bought right before their big sale started. And it was on sale, luckily but it was before I bought everything else. I just wanted to add like another overcoat that was this color and double breasted. So I saw this, it was on sale and I grabbed it. Unfortunately, it may not be available, but I think they may have something similar. So I'll try to link it down below for you if you're interested. It's just a very versatile color, especially for winter. And it works well with so many different things. All right, so that does it for the clothing portion of this haul. So now we're gonna hop into the accessories. So I got a pair of gloves, I got some scarves, and I got some belts. So let's hop into those items. First up, we're talking about gloves. So of course, with winter, you know, it's cold outside, obviously. Protecting your hands is always an essential. These are a really nice pair of suede gloves with a Sherpa line interior, which of course makes them warmer so you can endure the cold temperatures and the cold weathers in style. Of course, it's a must this time of year. The next accessory that I picked up is this beautiful houndstooth scarf, and it's done in a light brown, dark brown, navy, and then burgundy. A great color combination, it looks amazing. I paired it with the overcoat that I just showed you, and it looked very, very dope. The next scarf I picked up is this camel color scarf, somewhat similar to the color of the coat, just a little, little bit lighter in color, you can wear them together but since they aren't exactly the same color, just kind of give you a little bit more of that color range and color dynamic. Playing with that same color family would also work great with some other earth tones as well. Don't know if they're available. I will try to link some similar items if I can find them down below for you. And the last scarf that I have here is a pretty chunky wide fringed scarf and it's done in like a, I'm not sure what you even call this color. It's a 
green, which I think online they call it khaki. It's a really nice length. It's really nice and it's long. The fringes are give you some flair, give you some edge. And depending on what you wear it with, it can be a nice addition, uh, nice accessory, especially for these cold winter months. And lastly, we have some belts, not something I talk about too often on the channel. Belts are something that I use as an accessory to tie into other items. So for instance, a shoe or a watch or something like that. I try not to use it as often because sometimes I feel like it breaks up the continuity of the look. And if I already have a structured color balance, I don't want to ruin that by throwing in a belt that kind of throws everything off. It could be too much. So I use belts very frequently and sparingly. I did want to add just a couple more just different colors I felt like I didn't have. And I got this light brown, almost like a cognac color. And I also got a navy color because I didn't have a navy belt. A navy can come in very, very clutch depending on what you wear, especially if it's a lighter bottom like white jeans and like a light blue top and maybe throw in some blue loafers, whatever the case may be, this can always tie back in those colors to give you a very clean, balanced look. All right, that does it for my winter Zara haul. Let me know what you guys think about the pieces that I picked up. These pieces are somewhat essential for the winter time. You gotta protect your hands, gotta protect your body from the cold elements. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content, click the bell, turn on notifications, and follow me over on Instagram for more style and outfit inspiration. You will see quite a few of this stuff probably throughout the rest of this winter. And um, I think that's it for this video. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Peace.